today I'm going to show you guys how to make a figure four deadfall trap. There are a couple of different ways to make this type of set. This is the way I like to do it. I found it works best for me. There are three components that goes with this trap. Number one is the bait stick. You have the lever stick and then the upright. The upright you're just going to want to taper it off on both sides just like that. And down towards the bottom I like to 90 this off because it helps the bait stick catch on it better. For the lever stick, you're gonna to need to carve a seven notch, and then right up above that seven notch, I like to taper it off because I feel like it helps hold the rock or the weight better. And then down towards the bottom, on the opposite side of this seven notch, you're going to need to taper it off, just like that. And then last for our bait stick, you're gonna to need to carve a seven notch, and further down the stick on the side, you need to carve a log cabin notch. So when you have all of these pieces together, what's gonna to happen is this right here is gonna be sitting on the ground. This is gonna go inside of this seven notch, just like that. And then the bait stick is gonna sit on the side, just like this. Okay, I'll show you guys a couple of different angles of this, but as you can see, we have the trap set. A little trick you can do is if this ground is really soft like it is now, just put a rock or something underneath of your set. We've got our upright right here with our 90 carved off on this side. We have this tapered off going down into the seven notch and this log cabin notch is catching on the side of this 90. So you can put some bait on this trigger stick right here. Let's say a rabbit or a rat or a squirrel or something like that it comes in to chew on your bait. Well, what happens is as soon as it will start chewing, it will fall just like that. And you can see all of our trap components are on the outside of our trap and the animal would be stuck underneath of this rock effectively squashing it or and or suffocating it. Just like this. Put on the top, adjust everything as it needs it. Come down here towards the bottom, just like that. You want your rock or your log or whatever this trap is holding up, you want that around a 45 degree angle. And also whatever you're trying to kill with this trap, your counterweight or your weight needs to be five times heavier than the animal. So let's just say you're trying to kill a 20 pound raccoon. You need to have a 100 pound rock in order to effectively kill it. I said a squirrel or a mouse or something like that would come in, start eating on this trigger stick. And like I said, it's pretty much a hair trigger. So in all of our trap components on the outside of the trap way, these things aren't stuck up underneath of here and the animal has room for escape. 